while some of you folks think that Kanani, Janae Aiko, Tiger Woods, and Sean Paul are mixed with Brack or Brack, they're not. They're multiracial people. And there's nothing wrong about being multiracial, but for some reason, people have a hard time to distinguish these celebrities as multiracial and then there are real people following these celebrities who are multiracial but they publicly identified as black or mixed with black or their fans identified them as black or mixed with black and that is a problem so today I am going to tackle this topic to the best of my abilities because, yeah, let's discuss. Hello, I'm filming this portion of the video before I sleep because I have to go to work tomorrow, but also because I need to make a few disclaimers just in case whoever watches this knows this facts are facts on facts before we even go to the juicy parts of the video. Before I go further, yes, race is a social construct, but that does not mean that black and people of color do not receive prejudice. Also, being a black or half black person is a culture plus race. Number two, I think if you're one fourth black, aka under 40% black, you're not black. And that's okay. My problem is when these celebrities, influencers, politicians, and their fan bases claim these one fourth aka multiracial people as black or mixed with black. It's disrespectful to biracial and monoracial black people. Okay, back to the regular video. What is multiracial? According to Taylor Ray Amonte, multiracial means having two or more races, whereas the diversity style guide states, biracial refers to people of two races, multiracial refers to people of two or more racial backgrounds. Personally, I agree with the second definition more than the first definition. But both definitions are correct. But in my opinion, when I think of a multiracial person, I think of someone who has three, yeah, three races and or more. Whereas when I think of someone who's mixed race, or biracial, I think of someone who has two races. But apparently, you could be multiracial with two races too. But once again, my opinion, the first thing that really we're going to be talking about is Kanani. And if you do not know who is Kanani, Kanani is an R&B singer, songwriter, She's big. She's big. Of course, she's not as popular as she was before, but she is a huge artist and her identifying as biracial and or African American is a problem. That is not her full background. Her mother is white and her father was mixed race. He had African American, Spanish, and Filipino Native American ancestry. As you could all clearly see, her father was mixed race. 
that Kanani, I don't know why she thought she was biracial or mixed with black, even though she's one fourth black. And why I do blame her family, there's a thing called educating yourself and or talking to your mother or a close close family member who's older because okay i maybe get your cousins don't know much but an older aunt uncle etc could have taught you about your heritage another problem i have with kanani kanani she used to use the n-word She stopped using it publicly and in her music. While I do like Sweet Sexy Savage, I do not listen to the album no more because her N word usage was overly too much for my taste. Next artist, Janine Eichel. Janine Eichel, like Kanani, is an RB singer, songwriter, and why I am a fan of hers too, she used to say the N word as well. And Janine Eichel is not black, no mix with black. She's multiracial too. And she even clarified that when, while she was talking on the shade room or something like that she commented about her heritage and her percentages of her background and for what it looks like she's 34 percent white she stayed three percent black and she's 25 percent asian and we all know what that means that means that she's multiracial she's a bunch of mixtures Janine used to say the n-word numerous times, but then she stopped I think 2020 or 2021 on her records and in general she stopped using the word because she realized that that word was not for her to be using and on top of that Janine she has also Been saying that she was biracial too and then her fans be saying that she's biracial and saying oh She's half black this, she's half black that, and it's like, no, she's not. But also, you are taking spaces for actual people who are biracial or and all mixed with black, and that is a problem. But, mm, yeah. Up next, Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods is a golf player, and if you do not know, he won a bunch of medals of missing i'm not a sports person if you know me you already know that but the point is he was one of the top athletic golf players at one point and i think to this day he is maybe i'm not sure the point is he's multiracial but there are people who are black who claim him as black or mixed with black but he's not Tiger Woods' mother is a native of Thailand with Chinese and Dutch ancestry. His father was African American, Native American, Asian, and white ancestry. Basically, his father was biracial and multiracial. You see, Tiger Woods' parents are both mixed. And while Tiger Woods' father was African American, he's half. Well, he was half. He wasn't mostly or fully African American. He was mixed. And his mother is already Asian and mixed too. So that means he's mostly Asian. And I don't understand why people associate him as black. Why you want to claim someone who has been known for being a serial cheater, fetishizing white woman, and then all the mistresses he been messing around with were white women for the most part. And I know some of y'all gonna be like, I mean, even though I guess I am, but it's the truth. Why 
are we so thirsty to claim every right as black or mixed with black? It's okay for someone to not be black or mixed with black. The final celebrity is Sean Paul. Sean Paul is a reggae singer or rapper, whatever floats to your boat. The point is, he's multiracial, but there are a few people who claim he has black or mixed with black and why? Like that man is mostly white because he is white. But yeah, Sean Paul's family, they have some Jewish ancestry. Well, or I said some, mostly Jewish ancestry because that's coming from the white side of the family. I believe it was his father. His father, he is mixed race. His, his grandmother from his father's side, she was Afro-Jamaican. But my point, that's one grandparent out of three, well, out of four, which means three of his grandparents were non-black, aka white people, white Jewish people. I still cannot believe that people thought Sean Paul was black or mixed with black because he doesn't even look like it, but also why concluding statements i know i may come off as mean maybe on this video but we need to gatekeep blackness we do because there are a bunch of people trying to claim that they black all of a sudden and and all their fans we all know this i've made a bunch of videos about celebrities where their fans tried to claim them as black and they not black or mixed with black and that is a problem but we need to gatekeep blackness we cannot be allowing people who are not black or mixed with black to identify as that of course they do have a right to explore a bunch of their cultures multiracial people they do but to appropriate and or claim that they black or mixed with black it's a problem because that's not them and it's okay to acknowledge that. I don't understand why people are so afraid to tell people the truth. If you're not black or mixed with black, you're not black or mixed with black. That's okay. Like, no one's saying you cannot explore your multicultural background or multiracial background. Thank you so much if you made this far in this video. I appreciate you. It's okay to be you. You do not need to be black or mixed with black, especially if that's not your background. And you have to acknowledge that what you're doing is bad. That's why I appreciate Kanani and Janine Eichel for at least trying to change their ways and do better for black and mixed with black people by not identifying as that no more no saying the n-words in their music hopefully in their personal lives as well but that's not my business that's and then as for tiger woods hopefully he stopped cheating and fetishizing white women even though i doubt that and sean paul Continue doing what you're doing, but make sure you tell your fans to stop identifying you as black or mixed with black because that's not what you are. Be sure to like this video, especially if you made it this far. Comment your thoughts in the comments. Thank you and peace, me